saw it happening. But hey, you know what? It's in the past. Just have to move on and hope things get better. Know what I'm saying? Terry. I well, oh, okay. I think Toy Kid's trying to uh, prime up one of their secondaries, maybe. Uh, either way, I, I love to see the hungry wolf out here to play, dude. Yeah, Terry definitely makes up for what we're seeing on the other, on the other side. But who knows? Maybe it could be a cool Sonic. Who knows? So look, there's the again. Spin. This is a Southwest Sonic too, Silas, and uh, there are a ton of really fast tempo Sonics, like Blue Striker, and uh, among a bunch of others down there. So I'm gonna be real with you. I'm expecting big things from Tozu Butter. I hope you are right. That's all I'm gonna say. I hope you're right. Because right now, I think you kind of are. This Sonic is low-key going really crazy on this Terry Bogart. And that rising tackle low-key took him nowhere. Dance! Okay. All right. I think you're right. This is low-key kind of exciting. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Watch out, man. Watch out. Oh, he got dragged down? Out. Okay. Yeah, he low-key yeah, got spiked by that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. You can get those dragged down forwarders and, and completely eviscerate a Terry, especially if that spring was able to hit, and then you're able to get a follow-up there. But I, what I like about Tuzzin Butter's style right now is that they are taking the Terry off of the stage and putting them off, off stage. And yeah. when you're playing an FGC character, being off stage is basically a death sentence because you have no amazing options to get back. And we're seeing yep. the epitome of oh, it in this hell? matchup. And right now, Tuzzin Butter's staying living on the first lock, and that's two for hit toy -kun. Yo, this, so far, this bracket is so unfortunate in the funny way. But no, you are right. And not, it's it's a good mixture of not only is it that the FTC characters don't have a good disadvantage state, it's that, it, for what it's worth, Sonic has one of the best advantage states in the game. If you, if Sonic has you off stage or in a bad position, he just runs you, he just suffocates you. But you tenderize those ribs, okay? Okay, hold on. Forward smash, not gonna get it. There is the back air coming out. Ah, uh, Toasted Butter is like low key in his bag right now. He can kind of just do whatever he wants to. Has Terry oh, on stage. Stock, Arbiter. Yeah. Oh, is the F smash? I'm just saying, dog. That F smash is, is almost as long as some sword attacks. Did you see that? He canceled his spin dash right above the burn knuckle and hit him with a homing attack. This Toasted Butter so guy, smart. he's got. He has got a massive pair going on right now. Yo, he's playing really well too, and that power geyser is not gonna save you one bit, my guy. See that backer come out? Not gonna be a three stock, so. And then at this point, it might just be worth it to go for the kill, and as I say it, it gets that four smash, the giant fist, and now we're going on to game two. Yeah, I, I feel like that was a bit brazen from the toy tier. Um, I, I'm sure the DVD matchup is really hard to, for, to deal with uh, Sonic, because DDD is so slow, and Spin Dash probably beats out Gordo, and you know there's a lot of there's a lot of options that DDD likes to go for against most of the cast that Sonic can just completely invalidate sometimes. But I don't think the Terry's skilled enough to do something like that. Because honestly, if you get Sonic at the edge, DDD has a field day ledge guarding, and here we go. We are gonna see the Hitoi from DDD. I hope you're ready yep. for this thing, dude. I, this set, if we go into a game three especially, we're definitely gonna see one Jet Hammer kill. Really? Okay, then I'm yes. excited. And yeah, that Terry last game wasn't really getting the job done. And sometimes, let's just say the matchup is bad. If that's your character, that might be worth it even more than playing somebody you don't know and hoping for a better matchup pick, right? Because if you know what to do with this character, as he, as he does, obviously, you can get those early kills like that. It's all about being comfortable. The matchup might be bad, but matchup isn't everything. It's all about the player. And right now, and Toy Kun is putting in a statement right now. That's, that's what you need to do in this matchup, dude. You need to get that lead early so that Sonic can't cancel. DDD has very little mobility, and they definitely can't compete with Sonic in that regard. So if you're able to get the Sonic in a, a situation where they lose a stock early, that is that is really good things. And we're starting to see Hitoi Kun go for a little bit more of that, but if they make this their tempo, they go a little bit slower, and they really place their Gordos well, and they're actually able to hit, it should be it should be good for them to come out on top. The thing is though, Sonic can be anywhere that and nigga everywhere died. at once. And DDD yep. is so big and heavy that he gets comboed like nobody's business. Yeah, it's it's rough. And because Sonic can, can, can control the pace of a match, like you said, that boy DDD, he fat. He got diabetes, uh, he overeats. He says I'm gonna go to the gym on New Year's, but obviously he doesn't. We all know that. What the Okay. All right, I, I feel like you called out somebody, and and, and that's not a. That's, <laughs> you called Listen. somebody else out, not just the TV. Oh, oh God! What a read! 
Tell us about our special, baby. It's, and uh, Arbiter's out of his chair. He's probably in, in the next house by now. My god. He, he took off at Sonic speed to go pop off for that one. But man, I don't blame him. That was a hell of a read from Tosa Butter. How early did that man die? Oh, oh Ridiculously all right. early. All right, there we go. That. That. That works. All right. This, so far, this bracket has been hilarious. It's. It's been like the most unfortunate thing ever, but in a good way. Oh, good. A home and attack back air not gonna come out. There's that Gordo. You don't want Sun to control the pace of a match, but so far that back air. Yep, I saw that coming. That's something the Sonic. The Sonic. Oh, oh. Not gonna hit. No, luckily he goes above the ledge with that up beat. Don't want to get shot on that. Can either break the shield or do massive damage. So far, Toasted Butters is in such a good spot, but watch out for that Gordo. Oh my god! And I say it, get sent to the Shadow Realm, and we're gonna have a game three, ladies and gentlemen. And 115% as well. That was some robbery. That's some robbery Dude, that's, we love to see. That's the thing about Hime, man. You can never count this man out. I don't care where you put DDD on the tier list. I don't care that this character has a miserable advantage state and very little mobility. He's got stuff like that. He can yep. cover the ledge with Gordo and put you into a true kill confirm with that downer. I mean, nobody thinks like he may does with this character. I, I, I'd i make a statement look, that this dude might Wait, wait, real quick, look, he was screwed. Anymore. He was screwed, look, like, look at that. My man was done. He literally just couldn't do anything. The moment the Gordo was there, it was over. And you know Tosa Butters like, yo, run that back right here, right now. Stay in stage and everything, bro. He didn't even have time to breathe. But let's see how this game comes out. Oh, he wanted that so early. Stars, yep, the stars will protect him. There's that forward tilt, that long sort of hit block. Just said, you know, tell Sonic, yo, keep my space. Uh oh. Respect my authority. Saw the down tilt come out with a dash attack. But the dash attack of his own will take him out. Let's go, hit. Let's go, Hito. Okay, Hito. This is a night and day difference compared to game one and the start of game two for Hitoikun. Hitoikun is playing this incredibly nicely. They're they're constantly reading exactly where Toast Butter is gonna be. And for a character like Sonic, who has free range why over that. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Time, why, 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 Hitoikun why? Hitoikun just why put up a net that? everywhere. I Oh oh! He tried he tried to play like a like an eight-year-old. He tried to do what your eight-year-old brother does to you like when they play. That was disgusting. Dude, again? Nope, not gonna die just quite yet. And dude, as a Sonic main, this is horrifying. Not being able to, to control where the match goes, not being able to control how the match will, you know, dictate in your favor, what the speed Sonic has is horrifying. He has one stop. Hito has two. Oh, you got baited. Oh, you got baited. He dancing on that ledge. He is dancing on that ledge, homie. Oh, back here. Who needs to tech when you're like one of the heaviest characters in the game? Oh my god, he is teasing him right now. Okay, oh, okay there we go. Just can't tease really forever. Close enough. Yeah, he That's some of the best thing. planking I've ever seen over here. That was good. He's making Sonic look like uh, desperate. He's making the Sonic look desperate to get this stuff. That's it insane. Pretty, pretty hung up on Sonic's placement on the tier list, but a lot of people put him top 30 at, at the very least. And, you know, you're getting kind of oh! gimmicked right now by one of the oh. uh, worst characters in the game. But then again, that's why Sonic's so high tier. Man, they can just put you off stage and get you with those multi-hit aerials, push you to the blast zone, and touch, catch you without resources to make it back. Yeah, and like I said, man, Sonic's aggressive state is so good. Hito thought he was just chilling, but the fact that he was able to catch that jump, he just knew, okay, he has one, two, three... Get him there, he can no longer recover. That's so smart going off the post and butter. Hito definitely got a little bit too comfortable right now. And here is that Sonic aggressive state, man. Back air. Oh, it's that grab up row. Oh, co 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 combo breaker with that neutral air. What's the option now? Up smash. Oh, oh no, sour that spots. Sour. I can kill, but there's a dash attack. Trying to uh -oh. catch the air dodge, but it didn't happen. And man, this sh this sharking, this babysitting off stage with Toasted Butter is so scary because one strong hit on hit Toy off stage, and it could be the match. But then again, if you dash back hard enough to avoid the homing attack, you can hit anything you want to. And man, that was a perfect situation to go for that side B. You 